see if I can see what I'm doing here. I'm testing out some new video editing app that I downloaded and you're gonna see how it goes. It's the first one I've had that allows any voiceover. I don't know how good this will turn out. How much I'll bore anybody to sleep. Uh, I'm adding foliage here to the what I consider the fourth layer of the painting, these trees on the right hand side. That whole section was black gessoed and then I took uh, I believe it was dark sienna, burnt sienna, and raw umber, and a little bit of black. Kind of painted the under, underneath over the gesso. And I took yellow ochre, cad yellow, uh, a little bit of Indian yellow, and sap green. And a touch of white on some of the shades to lighten it, especially the trees there to the left. I tried to make the top end of the trees lighter, of course, and the lower end darker as we go down. And then continue to darken each group of trees as it moves from left to right. used a small, I don't know, semi-round or ovalish brush, just a cheap brush, to kind of beat up and been used enough that uh, it kind of works well for adding leaves. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, we turned the page. And I left a, some dark areas down at the bottom and in between the groups of trees to create those shadows so there'd be places to put the trunks. And there's enough little spots in the leaves and everything to line in a few small branches up in the top. That's what I'm doing here. I used the yardstick at the top. That's the yardstick holding the canvas in place. I'll get to that in a second. I use a yardstick. I rest my finger on there. Holds my hand still. As I add branches throughout, add the trunks the trees. The trunks are just basically that same underneath color that umber, sienna, and black. Later on in the painting I add a little highlight to the trunks just to give, create a little reflection of light. I think this is where I shift to normal speed. Just to see how it goes. Yeah. You can tell. A little less jittery now. Pardon my arm, I know it's not the best angle, it's kind of the setup I'm dealing with right now. 
makes it difficult, but what you gonna do? The fog down at the bottom is just basically titanium white. And I made a very uh, light purple with a lot of titanium white, a little ultramarine, and a little crimson to get a very light violet color, purple color. And tapped in my fog underneath. That's going to be the breaking line of this background area in the middle ground. Now I was going to explain my yardstick. My yardstick holds my canvases down. I built this easel. I, I see easels in the store and I hear people ask about easels on Facebook and uh, what to buy and everything. My easel's made out of a wooden ladder, an old old school wooden ladder. That hunk of plywood. And I put two small pieces of wood on the back side of that plywood and angled them a little bit so when I set it onto the ladder it would just wedged onto the ladder so it's not even screwed onto the ladder or anything it's just wedged on there and uh, uh, put a little one by three piece of pine at the bottom of that plywood and that acts as a little shelf and I usually drop a couple like a two by four or whatever a couple pieces of wood on that shelf that I rest my canvas on and then I press that yardstick down onto the canvas and use clamps on either side to hold it down and that canvas isn't going anywhere I don't I've never had issues with canvas sliding around or being unstable it's not going anywhere it works quite well so I would suggest to anybody that if they think they need to spend a hundred bucks on an easel go to a thrift store or wherever you got to go to find an old wooden ladder, an old wooden step ladder. And they work quite well and they're cheap. And you probably wouldn't spend five or ten bucks on it. The ladder I'm using happens to be uh, my dad's old six step wooden ladder. And I got from him after he passed. Well, actually, after my after my mom sold the house. To save space, also, I don't open up the wooden ladder. I leave the ladder closed and lean it up against the wall and it doesn't take up much room at all there's room on either side for I got a little bookshelf that I put all my paints on and all my stuff all my brushes are on one side of me I've got a dresser top that I keep my palette on so everything's pretty well contained a, a small area of the room. Just about done adding trunks here. Just wanted to test out this new video 
editing app and show you a little bit of what I did on this last painting. So, hope you have had a little fun watching this. I had fun making it. Appreciate your time. Cheers.